still trying to get elite three still struggling in the weekend league in today's video i'm going to show you these custom tactics i will guarantee you and help you and encourage you to get elite three in fut champions and that's coming next in the fut school Hello my friends, welcome back to the Fut School. My name is Don TV, and if it is the first time you are here, it is an absolute pleasure to have you. In today's video, I'm gonna show you these custom tactics that helped me get Elite 3. Yes, we got Elite 3 for the third time um, it, during TOTS, which arguably is probably the most competitive time. Uh, so I'm gonna show you this team, but also as well, in this video, I'm gonna show you a custom tactic which helped me push on and get elite three in the game that i had to clutch out elite three for my 23rd win i'm going to show you a custom tactic that helped me i'm going to show you that at the end of this video so make sure you watch the whole video in its entirety because not only am i going to show you the custom tactics that helped me get to elite three but also i'm going to show you some gameplay and i'm also going to show you the custom tactic that i had to switch to to try and push on to get elite three to beat my opponent so guys if you do like this video please boys and girls please drop a like on this video if you do enjoy this content if you want your boy don to keep on pushing for elite three then obviously keep up smashing that like button and as well if you want to see more content uh, content like this subscribe to the channel put the bell on and come check me out on twitch i am going to be opening my elite three rewards on my twitch um my twitch channel i live stream every thursday friday and saturday so the link to my twitch is down below in the description so without further ado let's get into the video so, here are here are the here are the custom tactics that um that i used this weekend now i'm gonna be mainly talking about I'm going to be mainly talking about my defensive and attacking formation. Um, I have got an ultra defensive. I've, I'll actually, you know, I'll just quickly show this one as well. This one I didn't really use that much. So I'm not going to really talk about uh, much. Actually, no, I did. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna. If you want to know, if you want to know in depth about the four four one one and the the four four two, then I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the the vid, I'm going to put the links to because I've done videos on them in, in a lot of detail. I'm going to put that in the description down below. Go and check it out if you want to see these two in a little bit more detail. But I'm going to br briefly tell you about all the, the custom tactics in this video very, very quickly. But these two are going to be in a lot more detail. And obviously my ultra defensive and attacking, um, uh, ultra attacking formations. I'm not going to go too much. Either, so I'm just going to brush, uh, brush over them quite quickly. But I'm going to tell you about them at the same time. So make sure you got your pen and paper, make sure you're recording it, make sure that you are um, freeze frame, whatever you want to do to this video to see, to make sure you get these custom tactics, then go ahead and do so. Uh, so my ultra attack, my ultra defensive formation, the five back, five, two, two, one. Okay, this formation helps me see out games. I lock this in um, as soon as, as soon as like 80th minute and I want to, I want to, I want to try and see out the game, want to win. I want that assurance in defense, but at the same time, I, if I, if I do get an opportunity to score, I've got the wings, um, to play a ball in behind. Defensive style drop back with this five depth is one, one depth drop back. I, I'm willing to take all the flack. I'm willing to take all the criticism when it comes to this. All right. Because I'll tell you something now, when you're playing fuck champions and you've managed to clutch out a win and the reason why people hate one depth drop back is because it's so it's so overpowered. I lock it in because I want I want to see out the game now. I'm I'm winning. I want to see out the game. I don't play this game. I don't play this tactic throughout the whole game because it is it's boring. It's not fun. It invites too much pressure, and it's not it's not fun for me. But I go into it to try and see out the game. All right. Offensive style balance. It could go long ball, but the same. I want to keep my shape um, right. I want to go. I could go possession, but at the same time, I still want an outlet when I do win the ball going forward so i stay balanced because that's better possession if you just want to see out the game you don't know moving no one making forward runs you can make your runs if you want to go possession it just makes sure everyone stands still when you do have the ball um, going forwards which is a little bit difficult because if someone is on um team press if someone's on team press or constant pressure you kind of want your players making runs so if you're one of your midfielders who receives the ball you want your winger to ready making a run because you want to make a first time pass go into balance if you want to do it yourself you're pretty good at doing that yourself go possession but i went balance as well and it worked out fine width i put i cranked it up to seven because obviously i want to create more passing um, lanes i want to create more triangles when i have got the ball especially if somebody is on constant pressure pulling on quite low it just leaves you less passing options pulling quite high creates more opportunities for you to play out of your defense plays in the box i don't want everyone bombing into the box if i do lose the ball i want still want enough people in the midfield i still want to boss the midfield and win the midfield corners and free kicks one one um instructions come back on defense getting behind on both my wingers mainly because of the fact that I, like i said i want them coming back to keep the shape to keep my defensive shape to keep the balance again i'm going to keep saying this over and over again when it comes to defense you've got to keep the balance 
all right but also as well when we do get the ball i want neymar and Gnabry to bomb forward and try and get in behind if i want to keep the ball in the corner or if i want to try and go for a goal it's a cheeky goal i would not recommend going for a goal especially if you want to see out this game um go for the corner keep the ball in the corner it's not it's not favorable but i i would say do it because you know it, everyone in football does it from the highest level to the lowest it doesn't matter um mane stay central false nine because i still want him to drop into the midfield when we when we don't have the ball um, I don't want him bombing forwards. Um, I don't want him to, to kind of back. Basically, a false nine means that he drops into the midfield to create attacking space for his teammates. So if he gets the ball, he can pay, play out to Neymar and Gnabry. So stay central, come back on defense, false nine. Both my CDMs, they stay back while attacking cover center. And pretty much standard stay back while attacking on everybody i would recommend you putting your cdm in the middle um center back as well because it kind of like it kind of merges into like a 4 3 3 with the deep lying cdm but you want edge but you want your cdm literally sitting in your defense you could have you could have the 4 3 3 with the deep cdm and tell him to drop in drop into drop between defenders but i don't want i don't want sen i don't want anyone coming out of defense i want a five back formation because i want literally my whole back line to stay tight i don't want that gap in the middle of the pitch because that is where my opponent wants to attack the most you can switch it and maybe put your uh, you can switch it and put maybe your best defender if you've got virgil van dyke in the middle it's up to you but i've decided to go with michael sen okay so the three four one two now i've kind of me messed around with the idea of maybe not messed around but i've tried to decide whether to go with the four one two one two uh, or the three four one two i did a video on the four one two one two as my comeback formation and it's really helped me and and so i decided to see if uh, the three four one two would help me just as well i have used other cu um, custom tactics as as well as in the three four two the three four two one the three five two and the three four three i've used all these formations but for some reason the three four one two just gives me a little bit more because it's very narrow um like the four one two one two it gives me a bit of width as well and plus my two wide um sent my two wide uh, midfielders give me a little bit more um width as well but at the same time they're a little bit higher up the pitch to win the ball if i do lose the ball in defense after making an attack so i use a three four one two Defensive style, constant pressure. Like I said, Hail Mary, all hope is gone. I've decided just to go for it, okay? So, defensive style, constant pressure. I kept the width at, at four because I want to keep I want to keep the, the defensive cover in the middle. I'm quite happy to give, because it's quite a wide formation already, I'm quite comfortable with um, the protection I've got on, the, on the, the wing if I do lose the ball. I could have gone to a five, but at the same time, the middle of the pitch is so incredibly important, especially when you're going for it as well. The depth, I could have bumped it all the way up, but I decided, I think there's no difference between, in terms of in-game, there's no difference between um, um, eight and ten. So I decided to keep it eight, just for the sake of it. Plus, I want to get the ball, I want to win the ball right up in this half. I want to get my players on the halfway line. I want to win the ball quite early. So, I really want to get in their face. Offensive start, I was, the options are offensive start could have gone with um, fast build up, long ball, or balanced. Again, the AI does help you in terms of, um, the AI does help you in terms of uh, making um, supporting runs. Fast build up is good. But again, my players get very, very tired. And if I, if all hope is gone, for example, and I can't, I can't get back in the game. 16 minutes gone. I'm losing two nose. Guys, keeping the ball really, really well. You know, I still, there's still time, so I don't want to drain their energy. I could go long ball um, to make some more runs in behind. But balance seems to be the one for me. And um, because of, because of the, the, the depth is quite high, you're already committing players forwards and um, players in the box quite high. So balance worked for me. But if I really want to get the ball fast, fast and forward, I really I could have gone I could have gone long ball. But balance seemed to help me and kept my shape of the team when I was going forward and defending. Attacking width is very wide because I want to create again. When you look at width, you want to know how you want to you want to create passing lane so the wider the you wider your the width you have it kind of it just basically the more wider it is the more passing lanes that you can create the more triangles you can create and, and, and govern most of the pitch too narrow and again it leaves you very toothless and you can't create a lot of options going forwards players in the box bumped up to seven because again i'm going for it i want i'm pretty much want all my, my wingers my cams and everyone in in the box my strikers everyone going into the box corners corners of free kicks is on too instructions is pretty much just go for it strikers stay stay central get behind stay forwards i've got my cam stay forward get in the box both my both my uh, wingers is getting in the box for the cross and getting behind i don't want them coming back on defense if if, if they have to go on the wing if my opponent's going on the wing then i'll use my cd my cdms to try and cover 
or I'll use my centre back. So I got Vitzel and Sen on cover. I got um, Sen on actually it should have been Vitzel to be honest with you. I don't know why. So I should need I should have swapped that around. But I got Vitzel stay back while attacking and Sen on balance and cover centre. And obviously Vitzel is on cover centre as well. On the other way around, I would say. I should have done this, but what I'm going to do now, let me just do it now, just for the sake of the video, this video. You want to have your most defensive-minded, because they're both pretty good defensively, the rewards that separates Witzel from SCN is the fact that Witzel has better attacking uh, stats than um, SCN. But SCN did the job for me, to be quite honest with you, because I remember, and you'll see you'll see from my, my, my win to get 23 wins, SCN did pretty well going forwards. But um, you want your defensive-minded player, someone who's not as good as attacking, stay back while attacking, and obviously more more, more well-rounded um, player, attacking and defensive, um, just on just on balance cover center. Now I could have, I could have both of them on, on, I could have both of them on cover the wing, so defend the wing if if if, if a teammate isn't marking. But again, it just leaves my defense very very open in the middle, and I don't want to do that. The mo the majority of the time, eight out of ten times when you're defending, your opponent wants to go down the middle. All right, so I want to make sure that I'm covering that middle now i'm going to skim over these custom tactics my defensive and attacking because i've done videos on them now this video i got elite three so this tactic i got elite three multiple times i actually went back into my tactic where i got elite two um my 442 i did a video back about seven months ago called how i went from gold two to elite two and i decided to bring back my got my elite two custom tactics and we'll, we can, I'll talk about that briefly um, now. 44411. Again, if you want to see this in more depth, check out the video. The link to the video is in the description of 4411. Um, again, got me elite multiple times, especially during TOTS as well. So, drop back. I lock in this formation when I'm coming up against someone really, really good. All right. I don't like drop back because I like to get in people's faces. But the gameplay this weekend was absolutely horrendous. And when, for me, the one thing that stops me from playing very well in delay is I can't ball roll. I can't um, turn. Because for me, my be, being able to left stick dribble is so very, very important to my gameplay. And as well, and lastly, player switching. I can't player switch quick enough. So I sacrificed my balance defensive style to drop back because I want I want the AI to if, you, if you're not gonna allow me to control my team then AI you have to control my team for me and I'm trusting you to do that get everyone back and I'll hopefully my AI helps me out in terms of when the ball's getting drop, dropping in behind when the ball's bouncing around but also as well I can keep my team in 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 the right position as well so it's a very um invites a lot of pressure but also as well it keeps it keeps as the description says it preserves the shape of your team so when I'm playing against someone very very good I just I like my I like everyone behind the ball. It's a very much a tactic which I learnt um, from from watching Mourinho. Which again, he doesn't. He's not exactly the he, people argue he's not the best manager in the world. But hey, his results his results speak for themselves. Uh, width is, width and depth is on too. I spoke about this in the video. Trying to trying to replicate the overload ball side without using the overload ball side. So three. So the width is on four. Depth is depth is on three. Just to keep everything tight in the middle of the pitch. And then I will use my players to pull them out wide if if someone's going down the wing. Defensive start balance width again because the four four one one is a wide formation at the same time. So therefore I don't need to bump it up any more than what it is because it leaves everyone too far apart. Keeping on four keeps again. I want to make sure that. If you're playing a narrow formation, then obviously bring it up. If you're playing a wide formation, then you might want to bring it down a little bit more. Um, or you want to just keep it balanced. It's entirely, it's entirely up to you what you want to do. But I decide four is pretty good. Players in the box is five because I want my midfield. I want Vitzel. I want SCN. I want my midfielders getting into the box as well as my strikers and cams. Corners and free kicks is on one. Uh, Neymar, my striker. Stay central, get behind, come back on defense. Come back on defense. Pretty much everyone, come back on defense. With my left and right midfielders and get in the box, sorry. Come back on defense, get in the box. My two centre mids is stay back while attacking cover centre and pretty much the usual when it comes to the full backs as well. Overlap, everyone stay back while attacking and my goalkeepers come for crossing sweeper keeper. If you want to go, like I said, if you want to see it in more detail, go check out the, the link to my um, to this video is in the description. Go check it out if you want to see it in a little bit more detail and in terms of how to play this formation. Four, four. 442. I've changed this somewhat. I've updated my 442. So how tower went from goal two to elite two because of because since then I have no idea how many patches. I would say off the top of my head maybe three or four, three or four patches um, since I used this tactic. All right, and I've had to adjust it. So if you want to compare my elite two custom tactics to this one, 
this is how this is how it's changed again the fencing style is still balanced width and depth again we're replicating the overload ball side all right we want to do overload ball side but we don't want to lose the stamina at the same time all right some people play on this because if you have a if you have an incredibly good team all right and you are an incredibly good competent defender 5-5 five five. if not and you're not and you and you and you're conceding too many goals and too many times your players getting behind go 4-3 all right if you want to get in their faces 5-5 five, five. if you just want to make sure you're good defensively go go 4-3 offensive style balance talked about that multiple times uh width is on five again it's a wide formation could have gone could have gone four i could have gone four and kept it quite narrow but again kept it on five because of the fact i got two strikers and i want to create more triangle passes players in the box now the reason why i've gone to three as opposed to five okay i've usually played on five but i've gone into into th into three and the reason being is because i want my two strikers getting in the box but at the same time i want to build up the play if i'm playing against someone who's parking the bus on me drop back one depth all right if i'm playing against someone who's playing drop back one depth i want to bring the players in the box down to three because i want to boss the midfield if you're going to keep everyone in the box, that's fine. Then I will govern the midfield and I will probe your defense to try and break your defense down. All right. If this is a game where you're, you're like, right, this is, if my opponent's telling me, okay, well, uh, you're not going to score many goals past me. I'll be like, that's fine. Then I'm going to keep 60 or 70% possession of the game. And then let's see how long you can hold. Let's see how long you can drop back on me. All right. So I decided to bring, bring my players in the box down to three it just means that you know um my some only my strikers making forward runs they'll probably stay on the penalty spot and then i will trigger the runs in terms of playing using my midfielders to make runs inside the box or i'll choose to go around the sides and try go down the side of the pitch if i can't go down the middle strikers um i got neymar i got neymar as a target man because uh, between him and Mane, i want them to playing off each other i got neymar with his back towards the goal and he'll lock the ball to his feet and they can play one two with him and him and Mane. stay central come back on defense Mane, i've got him on mixed attack so he'll be out he'll be either getting behind he will either go drop into a false nine he will either um target man it will depend on the, on the situation of the game he'll decide you could, i would say put mixed attack on on your striker who has the better attacking position or just a bit a better attack Stay central and stay forward as well. All right, because obviously I'm really going for it now. I want, I want, I, I don't mind losing out on the mid. I don't mind losing out on the defensive um, stability because at the same time, I it's a, it's a, this formation is a game where I'm going against someone who I know I can beat. Um, yes, yes, there is. Yes, you are a good player, but if you're going to drop back on me, then I want to keep the ball a bit more. So Mane is going to stay forward and not get back in def defend for me. Um, my wingers come back on defense come back on whoops come back on defense come back on defense and my two cms i've got uh, scn and Vitzel. i've got on cover center because my players in the box is quite low and they're going to stay outside the box because players in the box is on three they're not going to get in the box until i tell them to unless i unless i play a one two they're not going to get in the box until i tell them to all right so you don't have to worry about stay back stay back while attacking you want them to help out with the attack because you're on balance as well if you are making making passes tick attacker passes between let's say your striker and your and your and your wide midfielders if a Vitzel and SCN because you're on balance will make a supporting run um in, in between your center backs as well so it's very very good to have them on balance because it gives you another attacking option and you can catch your opponent by surprise as well because you never know um what they'll do so um your full backs again step back while attacking and overlap and everything else and come for crossing sweeper keeper i only do this for a goalkeeper you know you've that's done that's a good you got a good goalkeeper so again this is a formation which i i, I favored when i wanted to get out my opponent and if i played against someone really really good and i wanted to and went one nil down and i want to try and get back in the game then i'll switch it i'll switch out of the 4 4 one because i don't want to play drop back no more i want to get in your face then i'll go into this um as well okay so now i'm going to show you the gameplay all right so we're going into my last three games um i think this would be i'm on actually 20 wins with five games five games to go all right so i pretty much need to go three and two to try and get this get this done now you're going to see me i'm going to show you the, the get the actually going into a game didn't cherry pick my games that Did, didn't go didn't go home only or anything like that i just went into a game and i just wanted to beat anyone whoever i come up against i will play them i came up against a top 100 player um elite one player um i know it's top 100 because someone told me that he was like he actually went 29 and one a weekend but obviously i didn't record i think i i, re I played that game and then after I got, I, I lost and then I, I won my next game. I got 20 wins. So I had five games to go. So here you're going to see me come up against my opponent. Um, 
and I'll talk and I'll talk you through um, the team. I'm not going to stop it or, or anything like that. We're just, I'm just going to talk you through um, each game and each player and how I how I played as well. The serve, even though I was playing this, I was playing this about 2 a.m. The servers still weren't great, guys. I'll be I'll be entirely honest. People say, "Well, why do you play your games quite late, Don?" I play my games quite late because of the fact that the servers are better, the gameplay is better. But uh, but tonight. Not tonight, but this night the gameplay wasn't good at all. It wasn't good. You're gonna see me make you're gonna see my play switching all over the place. You're gonna see my passing is not great. Um, because it just it just it just didn't feel good at all, guys. I'll be I'll be 100 percent but I'm not gonna hear I'm not gonna sit here and talk about um, the gameplay because it's not about the gameplay, it's just about how how I'm playing. So at this moment in time, I'm in the 4-4-1-1 formation, right? You can see Neymar being the only player up top. And you can basically see how much attacking options I have going forward. So right now, um, I, ha I couldn't engage what type of player that I was playing up playing against. But at the same time, I want to keep my defense quite well. Here I get quite lucky play. Nice lofty pass with Mane um, into Neymar and boom. So as you can see, I had I had about three or four passing options ahead of me, but still had a lot of cover in defense. I got one new up against a very, very good opponent. And he rage quits. So we're trying to go into an SCM. In, actually, in the, in this moment here, I'm actually trying to match against. I think I was matching against the same person like uh, three times. He kept on kept on back backing out. So again, I go into I go into another game. Not trying, not trying. So this was actually my fourth attempt trying to get a game. As you guys, I go straight in. The ping is pretty good, so I went in. I'm actually in a party. So as you guys can see, in the bottom left hand side, I'm in a party with my my two uh, friends, um, Butcher and Kieran, who are mods in the channel. Shout out to them both because I'll tell you something now. These guys, again, fourth probably the fourth week in a row, they've partied up with me and they're just listening to me as I'm talking to them about the game, keeping me calm, telling me what to do. Um, in terms in terms of calming down playing slowly relax you're doing well this that, and the other don't give up things like that that i need to encourage me even though they can't see what i'm doing or can't see my opponent just encourage me shout out to those boys because they're they're they're, they're um priceless if you ask me so again locking into the 4411 hakimi Hakimi's good. He's very, very agile and he's good and he's good going forward. i couldn't tell his work rate is high low right his work rate is is, is very much high low couldn't really tell his low work rate. I think he's done fantastic for me. Um, not very, very strong in terms of winning the ball back, but at the same time, he was still very, very good. So I get quite lucky here. Another early goal, and I got one nil up and win the ball back. Um, and Gnabry done well. Gnabry's pretty good. Very agile, very agile. Didn't score many goals, but then again, you wouldn't expect your wingers to score many goals for you. But he is good on the ball, um, but just not very good in terms of riding challenges. So if you, if you um, fake... What's it called? Fake shot into the defender. More often than not, he gets pushed off the ball. So he loses out in that respect. But he's actually pretty did pretty well for me. So the tactic, I'm not too sure. But he done very, very well for me this weekend. I uh, made one mistake throughout the whole weekend, which actually cost me the game. But I'm not going to hold that against him. So here we win the ball back with Gnabry. Now you're going to see... I can't remember what I actually did here. So did I go into the box with Gnabry? Did I do fake shot stop? Yeah, I did. Again, play the ball in. Nice little pass in. Very, 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 very simple. All right. As you guys can see, there's only three players in the box. My two CMs is not in the box at the moment. So you don't really need a lot of people. You need probably maybe two, if you, the, four players plus the ball carrier in, in the box. Play a nice little pass in and then away. So 2-0, 4-4-1-1, one, one, working like a charm for me. All right. Okay. So here we are. Still on 22 wins and we have two, and we have three games to go. So we have three attempts to try and get elite three attempts and this is a to, if you are trying to get elite this is a fantastic position to be in and the fact that you're on 22 wins and you've got three attempts it will be very unfortunate to lose all three games it happens in fifa but you just don't give up um so i had three attempts to try and get elite three and this was my this was my second attempt so we lost that our previous game and we go into another game with a very very good team um and um again went in straight into the 4-4-1-1 now now let's talk about the building a custom tactics in game. I didn't start very well again. Went into the four four one one. As good as it is, and as you guys can see earlier on in the video, I got two rage quits from that from that game. All right, but sometimes your custom tactics doesn't work. And this is this is this this little note here is for those who struggle to finish up higher than than gold three, gold two, gold one. Sometimes your best custom tactics doesn't work. What do you do? And I'm going to tell you what to do in terms of when you're in a position like I am, trying to hit elite and your opponent's winning. Because he's going to go 1-0 up in this game. And I'm going to do something to, to try and turn the game on his head. Is match his formation. Not only so, you want, there's one thing you to do. Match the formation. But match the formation in what way? 
How do you match the formation and get the right custom tactics? And I'm going to tell you why. I decided that enough's enough. Yes, I like the 4-4-2. Yes, I'm creating chances. But at the same time, I want to see what formation he's in. Because what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to match his formation. But because I'm 1-0 down, I'm going to do something to my custom tactics to try and get back into the game. And it actually helped me a lot. Big time. So if you want to try if you want to note this down, if you want to note this down into, into your, in your notebook and try and build this custom tactic, then go ahead and do that. But I'm going to take a pause. I think I go 1-0 up before I take the pause. I'm not, I'm not too sure what happens. But I think I go, I think I go sorry, 1-1. And then um, the game pauses and then I make the change. I'm not too sure. I can't remember because, you know because it is, right? it's hard to know what you did in, in when you're in high pressure situation unless you're recording the game. So here I get the ball with uh, Mane. So I've just checked what formation he's in. And he's in the 4-4-1-1. So I decided in my mind the best way to try and beat your opponent who's playing better than you, attacking midfield and defense, the best way... To beat him is to match his formation that's your first step but it's not that's not complete yet because you've got to find the right custom tactics to beat your opponent okay, so again i've taken off kaka again six hundred thousand coins for a player that doesn't even play the whole game so i decided to build my custom tactics to match his formation but i'm going to get at him all right so here i, I had one second left and i didn't have time to sort out my my custom tactic is the same custom tactics as my 4411 the only thing i've done is bought messi on kaka's come off and I've matched his formation. I haven't really touched my cams. I don't think I touched my cams or my strikers, but just my defense for now, right? So I've matched his formation. So we're going, as I mentioned in my other videos, I'm, we're going to go blow for blow. Both blow for blow, pound for pound. I'm going to try and beat him at his own game. All right? So again, from one, from moment when I scored, I go 2-1 down. So right now, my plan isn't working. My plan is not going Straight away to hand. All right, best thing that I can offer you guys to do is not to panic. Yes, he's playing better than me. Yes, I'm playing bad, I'm bad, bad FIFA, but now I've got a tactic now to try and, and help me win this game because I'm not I'm playing in bad gameplay and I'm not playing well. What do you do? When I tell you this custom tactic helped me win this game, it's a bit of an understatement because this custom tactic helped me win this game because it's very, very good and it helped me when I'm playing very, very badly. Alright, so the first part of building your custom tactic in game, you've just you've just saw match one, match is formation. But then the like I said, only half the job is done because you've got to get your tactics right so again it's 2-1 down we're coming to the first half i'm not playing very very well i've decided to take another pause hakimi as you can see hakimi's doing very very well because he he's got like 86 strength um he done quite well in, in that in that occasion there so again i may try to make a quick pass with Messi to try and get um try, try and release Gnabry. he intercepted the ball and um he's again he's playing very very well i'm not defending well at all um, in the slightest, playing really, really loose passes. Again, another loose At the same pass. Same time, I've got to try and so make sure I'm playing very, very well to make sure I stay in the game. Um, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing well at all. So here, Mane wins the ball for me. Neymar does Neymar type things. I love Neymar so much, man. But here, I make an absolutely fantastic pass. Could have squared it, but I'm actually um, fired a shot away with Gnabry. That is probably my favourite goal of this whole weekend from from player of the month, Neymar. Neymar for me is the best card in the game for me. So here, I decided to um, update my instructions because I lost time, okay? So I told my two strikers to, to, to come back on defense and stay central. My uh, my cams is stay, come back, come back on defense and get in the box for the cross. Now, this is the most important part. Defensive style. Um, come on, Don, did you do it? Did I do it here? Yes, I did. Pressure on heavy touch. Decide to bring my depth up, all right? Pressure on heavy touch. The depth is on, I think I saw it on four, but I matched, I think it was on four, four, five, five, but I brought my depth up not too high because i'm not losing so i don't want to i don't want to bring up too high but i brought my depth up because i want my, i want to try and boss the midfield a little bit more okay my players in the box is still three all right so the only thing i changed from my 4-4-2 custom tactics is the defensive style not the attacking but just defensive i changed from balance to pressure on heavy touch and i ch i brought my my width my width is, is matching the depth Okay, so we're going to go into the game halftime. Again, I want, the, I want the ball. I don't want to lose the ball um, at the 45th. I want the last kick of the game, and I got it. The moment Neymar get the, got the ball, so here I lose the ball. Neymar gets the ball. He hasn't got no options. A little bit of dribbling, a little bit of dribbling. Play the ball back to my midfield and start again. Keep your eye on Neymar. Vitzel's got the ball, plays it to Essien. Neymar's actually in, in the cam position, right? But I trigger the run. Uh, Mane, straight to the name, inside the box. Boom. That is what that's what you get from top from from I think do I put him as a ton on get or getting behind? But that's basically what you get from when your player is in comeback on defense. Alright? 
when your players are come back on defense, they just drop a little bit more. Even when you're going for, they just drop a little bit more, and um, and you can start. You can actually play a one-two where you trigger the runs and get them to go into the box. I'll do a video on what I mean by triggering the runs and telling someone to come to you. I'll do that later on over the next few weeks. So here now, I'm actually talking to one of my. I'm talking to one of my one of my, my to butcher. All right, and I was asking, what should I do? Should I stay? Should I stay in? My, should I stay in this custom tactic? Should I stay in the four four two and match him because I was losing, or do I go defensive now and just keep everyone in, keep everyone back? I can't remember what I did, if I'm honest with you. So we're actually, we're actually going to find out because all these things I'm doing it off on the whim. You know, we're going to see what I did uh, in game. Did I stay in this custom tactic, or did I did I drop? Did I go into my four four one one drop back? I stayed. I stayed. I stayed in the four triple two. So I wanted it. So obviously, if it's if it's not broken, don't fix it. The four four one one wasn't working against this guy. It was the four four one one wasn't working. So I decided to stay in the um in the four triple two. Again, not playing well. Tried to play the same pass with Hakimi. Misplaced a pass. Not playing great football. Here was pretty much great anticipation from... I'm going to give myself some credit because I've put myself down too much in this video. He made a pass, uh, anticipated it, and then played the ball in behind. Here, and to get a nice little ball with Mane. Robertson done very, very well. Nice weighted pass. Um, get a ball, tried to get the shot away with Mane. Left foot. Vanessa makes an absolutely fantastic save. It's elite three. It's four o'clock. It's, it's now probably four o'clock in the morning. Took lots of breaks. All right. It's now four o'clock in the morning and I'm tired. He makes a mistake and um, I win the ball back. And it's very it's a very unfortunate on his part, but um, I win the ball, win the game, and it's now four two, and we clutch elite three. What I was going to do now, if you saw what I did, I actually went into my five four five back formation to try and see out the game. He made a, he made a really bad mistake, lost the ball, and I got and I made it, got to um, clutch that elite three, and that's what happens when in terms of a lack of concentration when it comes to FIFA. So there you have it, boys and girls. Your boy Don hit elite three. I hope I hope that the video that I've I've given you guys has helped i hope the information sorry that i've given you guys has really helped you um we managed to manage to clutch out elite three in bad gameplay coming up against top 100 players incredibly um good good teams again as i mentioned bad gameplay i'm not playing very well we managed to get elite three because of the custom tactics i would say the best custom i'm going to give you custom tactics which i believe that can help you but you've got to build custom tactics and i've done videos on how to build your own custom tactics because i believe the best custom tactics that you can build are ones that suit your style of play i needed help because i wasn't playing good fifa so in the game i decided to build a quickly build a custom tactic in game to try and compensate for the fact that i am not playing very very well and I think that's something that you will, if you are struggling to go to from, if you are struggling in the gold region, you've got to learn how to do that in game. You've got to learn to change your custom tactics in a high pressure situation to try and work out if you're playing well or not. So we've got You've Elite got 3. So I'm going to be opening my rewards on, on on Twitch. So come check me out on Twitch. I'm going to be opening my Elite 3 rewards during TOTS on Twitch. The link to my Twitch is down below in the description. I really hope this video has helped you out. And I really hope the information I provided you has helped you um, just empower you, encourage you, and to inform you of how to go from silver to gold to Elite. And um, I really hope that if you are watching this video that you do go to Elite or you do rank to another level um, because of the, these videos have helped you. Let me know in the comment section down below. Come check me out. Subscribe if you like this video. Put the bell on. Come check me out on Twitch because I'd love to meet you guys. I've had a few of you come and tell me you're doing very, very well in Champs. Please keep me posted so I know I'm doing my job correctly. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.